Hey y'all, I sanded this table down to some gorgeous natural wood, but I am so tired of sealing it and watching it turn yellow or orange or darker. So I have a variety of products here I'm gonna be trying on the leaf on the inside. So if it gets damaged, it's okay. It's not gonna ruin the whole table, but I'm gonna try different streaks or different strips of every single product I have here to seal it, see which is the most durable, see which color changes the most and which color changes the least. So let's get started. Here are all of the products I'm going to be trying today from various brands to try to get that perfect color to stay perfect even after sealing. Every single product I have here was very easy to find in Lowe's, Home Depot, or on Amazon. And then of course you can go directly through these retailers as well to find them in person. Let's get started with number one. This one is gonna be first, it stains, seals, and protects, and you apply it with a rag. Next up is Minwax Pro Series Spar Urethane. Says to use a bristle brush. I'm gonna be using a much cleaner sponge brush to try it out. Next up, we're trying Bullseye Shellac. Shellac? Shellac. We're trying this next. Number four is going to be Minwax Fast Drying Polyurethane. This one was highly recommended on my Instagram by my followers. It's General Finishes Flat Out Flat Top Coat. typically use so I'm excited to try other options but this is the Minwax Polycrylic and I, of course I went with the flat because I've been told that's what helps keep it that natural shade best. This is the Howard Wax It All. I'm undecided on this one because it's not long lasting. If this does end up being the best option, I'm gonna have to tell the buyer, you're gonna have to reapply wax to keep it protected from water and food and scratches and all that stuff that can damage the look of the table. So I'm nervous to try this because if it's the best option, I'm gonna have to warn my buyers. This isn't a long-term great option. For instance, I'm too lazy to continuously reseal my dining room table. So I would not use this, but let's give it a try. try isn't really a product it's a strategy whitewashing is literally just watering down some white paint and letting it lighten the wood it's going to be a little darker right now because it's still wet but now when i seal it hopefully it's going to lighten up and then when i seal it it may not be as obvious that it did it so this is my last strategy and then i'm going to show you the results it's been an hour and clearly the winner here is the general finishes I would say the smoothest texture is definitely the Danish oil, but it's pretty dark. So this is the only one that kind of kept that pretty light, unfinished look that I wanted. However, looking over here, this is the whitewash. So you can see it lightened up the wood a lot. I'm now gonna try putting the winner on top of it and seeing if it's close to the original tone. Here's the final result with the whitewashing, but I honestly think it added too much of a little blue tint. Now it might depend on the type of whitewash you do, the color you use, but overall my favorite has got to be the General Finishes Flat Out Flat, which was this one in the middle. My least favorite was the wax, which I wasn't excited about anyways. Overall, I think this gave me a really good idea for future projects. 
on what color I would get without staining. These are just sealants. If this content has been helpful for you, please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I share so much more on Instagram than I do over here on YouTube. I'm a little bit of a YouTube slacker. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.